We are going to the poor man's Galapagos. They're just like naked dogs. Yeah, exactly. There are a few penguins up here among the thousands of other birds. This is some bird poop. We had a very close call. Work it out. So with a poopy. Hundreds of them over here on this beach. Good morning from Paracas, Peru. Right now we are about to get on a boat and we are going to the poor man's Galapagos, which is Islas Balestas. And we're going to see a bunch of wildlife and spend a couple hours on this boat. So on this island, supposedly, we're going to see things like penguins. We're going to see the blue-footed booby. And there's going to be some sea lions. Because of all this wildlife, and especially this unique wildlife that you don't really see other places, that's why this is called Poor Man's Galapagos. I don't think we're going to actually be able to get off of the boat and go onto the island because they preserve it and they don't allow anyone on it. So our views are just going to be from the boat. Mm -hmm. Which is still be cool. Yeah. Which is probably better that we're not going to be touching the wildlife, making friends with it. But yeah, supposedly they they keep this place pretty well taken care of and well preserved. And so the wildlife just does what it does and there isn't much human interaction or anything to mess it up. So today we're going to be doing the island boat tour along with the Paracas National Reserve and those together were $13 each person and then we're gonna have to pay fees when we actually get to the park. <laughs> okay so now we're waiting for the boat there are just hundreds if not thousands of people waiting for boats here. So we ended up paying $13 for both of the tours and then you have to pay about $6 for the entrance fees to both. So in all about $19 for this whole tour. Not too bad. So most of these tours they leave early in the morning. They say that they're gonna leave at 8 but now it's about 8.30 and we're finally almost getting on. <laughs> With the Galapagos Islands topping the bucket lists of many travelers to South America, it's not surprising that there are a number of smaller attractions in the region laying claim to being the budget-friendly alternative. These rocky formations, part of the Paracas National Reserve, provide a home for penguins, sea lions, and a ton of bird life, such as the blue-footed booby. So this is the Candelabra. It's a prehistoric geoglyph, and it's on the northern face of the peninsula, and it's about 600 feet tall. The Candelabra is large enough to be seen from 12 miles away at sea, but the reason for its existence remains a mystery, much like the famous Nazca Lines, which aren't too far from here. No one knows if he made this big geoglyph. It is called the candelabra or the trident. It has 128 meters high, 75 meters wide, and approximately 50 centimeters deep. So right now we're on a boat tour. It's a two-hour day trip, and we're hoping that in that amount of time we'll be able to spot a bunch of wildlife. And you can see the huge quantity of animals, right? At the top up there, one penguin up there. See him turn the other way? There's a couple right there too. It's the only one standing up. You see? It's 
It's hard to tell them apart, but there are a few penguins up here among the thousands of other birds here. I'll try to make them out right here. Three penguins. This is all birds. All of this black stuff up here. It's just thousands of these birds. To catch the fish, we can be three minutes under the water. These Peruvian boobies we have also with the blue feet, but in the so again, it's pretty hard to see over here, but there are a bunch of sea lion babies, babies over here. What the people are doing here is harvesting guano, which is a fancy word for bird poop. It's actually harvested from here and used as fertilizer. Alright, so this here is called Maternity Beach because this is where all the sea lions go and where they have most of their babies. There are just hundreds of them over here on this beach. See if you can see this. I don't know if my camera is really catching this, but do you hear all the sounds coming from that? So sea lions make a pretty distinct sound, but they're babies. It's like little scream. We had a very close call. All of a sudden I hear this clunk and it landed some bird poop right on my life jacket. And I did get some on my arm and I wiped it on the seat. Alright, now we're headed back and we're gonna go to the National Park after this. Pretty bummed we didn't see too many penguins. I hope that we caught a few on camera for you. We saw maybe four or five among thousands of other birds and you couldn't really see them. But now look at all these birds here. They're all just diving straight into the water and getting fish. Okay, there are just hundreds of them right next to the boat. Okay, so we just made it back and next we're going to the National Reserve. So we're going to take a bus and hopefully see some wildlife on this. Look at this llama here. Alpaca spotting. <laughs> So Peru is known for having the ugliest dog in the world, and we just spotted it. They're hairless. <laughs> They're hairless, but they have a little bit of wiry hair on the top of their head, so they kind of just look like an old man. They kind of look like a hyena. Yeah. How hyenas have them? Yeah. They're just like naked dogs. 
But I think they're really popular here. Too much happened in one day. We couldn't fit it all in one video. Here's a sneak peek of what happened next. I believe we can walk faster than this. Make sure to watch part two of our Paracas tour here.